Hey, it's the weekend. Hope you're having a good weekend. Saturday, November the 16th, the word for you today is God is at work. God is at work. Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Paul's writing says, What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. You know, we all have things or people that we value greatly. Paul is telling us that he values knowing Jesus more than anything else that he has. And he wants us to desire that as well. So let's take a look at what this has to say to us about giving Jesus the proper place in our life. Paul says, I consider everything a loss. So he gains the whole world. So he has a big house and multiple cars and memberships to this or that. He can go vacation here, go there. He has everything that he wants. He can go buy anything he wants. He would consider all that a loss if he didn't know Jesus. You know, if, if your house was on fire, what's the one or two things that you would grab first to take out of the house? That's what you value the most. For Paul, would be that relationship with Jesus. So he says, I can do everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus. Nothing meant more to Paul than knowing Christ. How important is it to you to know Jesus? Is a ball game or a movie or a song or a game more important to you than knowing Jesus? Paul says everything else is a loss compared to, to knowing Jesus. And then three, for whose sake I have lost all things. When Paul, as a Pharisee, and he was persecuting the church of Jesus, and he came to know Jesus, he did a 180 switch, and he began preaching Jesus. And he lost friendships. He lost, which they really weren't friendships, were they? But he lost, he lost people who said they were friends. He lost reputation. He lost uh, position. Um, if he had a 401k, he would have lost that. He would have lost everything to follow Jesus. But you know what? He said, it's okay. It's okay because I consider those things rubbish compared to Christ. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24 talks about boasting. Jeremiah 9 23 and 24, it says, This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches. But let him who boasts, boast about this, what? That he understands and knows me, says God, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. What God is saying is, if you're going to boast about something, don't boast about these temporary things. Boast about me, God says. Nothing else matters. Nothing else really matters. And you know, we put value on things. Uh, there was a man who loved old books. He had a, he had a friend who, who had just thrown away a Bible. It had been stored in the attic of, of one of his relatives. He said, I couldn't read it. Somebody named Guten something had printed. He said, not Gutenberg. He said, that was an incredible Bible. They just sold one of those for over $2 million. And he goes, and then his friend was unimpressed. He says, mine wouldn't have brought a dollar. Some fellow named Martin Luther scribbled all over it in German. To this man, those, those books meant absolutely nothing. But to other people, they were worth millions of dollars. To some people, a relationship with Jesus Christ means the world. To others, a relationship with Jesus means nothing. Question is, what does a relationship with Jesus mean to you? God is at work. He's calling us to him. And he's asking you, he's asking me, what does a relationship with his son, Jesus Christ, mean to us? I hope it means everything. Have a good weekend.